Hi everybody, it is Tuesday, March 8th, 2022. We're gonna be doing a card of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by Spirit Universe or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and connect with whatever the fuck you want to because they ain't none of my fucking business. Ain't nobody else's business what you believe in. As long as you're honest with yourself and everybody else and you're not hurting yourself or anybody else, all good with me. With that being said, this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition. Not everyone listens to it, as you can see the state of the world. Let's get the legalities out of the way. The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark, copyright, and registered with three different classifications with the United States government from the u.s trademarked and patent office any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse is guided by my legal team now with that being said do not forget that this saturday on march 12th at uh, 8 p.m eastern standard time is the march community reading it is free for all the members of i am the altar which is a private membership if you're interested in the membership we have tons of perks you get included into all the community rituals every monthly community reading you get a weekly reading and forecast and you have access to me seven days a week with a private facebook group page it's 44 dollars and 44 cents per month or 444 dollars and 44 cents for 12 months if you're interested, go to the website, thealmightypineapple.com. With that being said, all my services are booked and paid and products are purchased through the website only. I will not not solicit you. I will not send any direct messages. If anyone's doing that claiming that it's me, it is fraud. Report, block, notify your PayPal, your cash app, whatever it is. I only process through the website only. I am a legitimate business. I pay taxes to the IRS and to my state every year. And believe me, they get paid. So, do not forget that this Tuesday on March 15th, to the, hello, March 15th, 2022 is a free webinar at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do not fret if you cannot make it. If you sign up or register on the website, thealmightypineapple.com, on the book now page, scroll down to the second option. It will say free webinar, connecting to the clairs. It is a webinar telling you how to recognize any spiritual and psychic abilities and how to recognize that because I get asked that every time. So this is a really good way for you to identify this and acknowledge that on your own. So make sure you sign up. If you're not able to attend, you'll get the Zoom recording as long as you register. As you can see, we already have some cards that fell out. This is coming from the Sacred Symbols Oracle Deck by my friend Marcella Crow. Go support and support, support, support. Uh, she's amazing. So with that being said, we have a couple cards. The first card that flipped in the deck is called Boundaries. The second card is called Shadow. And then the third card is called Focus. So Boundaries, meaning no, is a full sentence. Many people will push their opinions on how you should be living your life. Say no, push back. Shadow is dealing with the things from your past that you're avoiding. And focus on the, get on that target and go accordingly. Get that shit done. Don't settle. Don't sway. Don't do anything but do what you need to do for you. So let's get into the, the descriptions. That way you can see what it says as well. Boundaries. Stand your ground. Be your own guardian. Take up space. This is not the time to play small. Honor your space and create healthy boundaries in your situations. Meditate on this symbol when you want to set a healthy boundary and stick to it. And the jaguar can help you also keep your integrity and standards high. The jaguar is a symbol of integrity and impeccability. It has a healthy sense of boundaries and respects magic and the unknown. So clear those spaces. Tell people no and stick to it. Do not let them push back and do not fall apart. After the boundaries are set, start tackling your shadows. You want to know why you guys can't really succeed? Because you can't clear space. And you can't clear space because you're so distracted and so unfocused doing everything else for everybody else. And you're not setting really healthy boundaries for you. And that's probably why you can't deal with your shadows. So it makes a lot of sense is why they're saying get those boundaries so you can deal with your shadow or things that you have been avoiding. And... What is hiding in the dark? What is it that you're afraid of you don't want to see? This card comes to tell you that all cannot be in the light because there must be a balance. Exploring the beast requires you to confront those unhealed parts of yourself, those aspects you deemed unworthy or unlovable. This time is now to bring light into those usually concealed spaces so they may be healed appropriately and are banished forever. The shadow or the hidden beast is not evil, just misunderstood. However, do tread carefully as you dive into sensitive territory. Humor, why not a solution can help you ease the growing pains of learning how to best work with and integrate 
integrate your shadow aspect with compassion. The symbol is called the beast. The beast is the hidden mythological monster under our beds and in our closets. It's the repressed part of ourselves that we believe unlovable, unworthy, and fear-inspiring. Ironically, it's also the place where some of our most hidden and valuable strengths are to be discovered. I like this pattern. So set those boundaries, clear that space, work through that shadow, release, move on, move forward if you're able and ready to do so. Again, if you're not ready and able, then don't do this shit, okay? Guess what? Every card of the day is not going to apply. If it doesn't apply, let this shit fly. And then the fucking focus card. Hello, one of my favorite symbols. Hello, I am a Sagittarius. So there you go. Focus says if you've been feeling scattered now's the time to hone in on your desires time to be direct and very clear with your intentions watch your thoughts because you're drawing into your life what you're focusing on meditate on this card when you want a clarity and directness and thought and speech the bow and arrow have long been used as a weapon for hunting and protection now used for more for sport it's with great focus discipline and sight that one becomes a skilled archer so with that being said spirit is saying it is time to set those boundaries because we need you to clear that space and deal with things from your past deal with your shadow so you can focus and hit that target and go high above what you plan what you intended what you envisioned and what you wanted to grow i hope i help i hope i put some things in perspective and i hope i made you fucking feel better thanks for being here thank you for liking commenting subscribing to my channel thank you for sharing this video with someone else i know my instagram page is private at readings by vida but you can definitely screenshot share tag me I appreciate it because it's private because scam and impersonating accounts. I don't want to put my community through that pressure again. I've been private for about five years. I was only about public for about a year and a half. So it's all good. Share, share, share. And make sure you let people know about the free webinar too. Share, share, share. Love y'all. See y'all later.